Hey guys, my name is Petty and in this video I want to talk about your tone and how to improve it. It's the second part of this video. The first video is for the beginners and this video is for the more intermediate players. So if you're a beginner, go to the first video. If you're an intermediate player, look here, stay here. However, when I first started to play the saxophone or to learn the saxophone, I had a very thin, wobbly, and inconsistent saxophone sound with no idea of playing in tune. I'm not a professional player, I play uh, for hobby, but I play uh, live gigs with band alone and things like this on weddings, on parties and uh, all that stuff. And today I want to give you three tips that helped me to get a better tone and to get a more consistent tone. I know there are tons of other things which affect the sound, but these three tips I would recommend to you. And how it could be otherwise, long tones. For the beginning, play one note for as long and as steady as you can. I know the more the better, but I wouldn't recommend you in any practice session to play any tone on the saxophone uh, the whole time because it's a bit boring and um, it's too much for a beginner, I think. But I would do a bit of a variation in my practice routines. On Monday play the high notes as long tones, on Tuesday play the low notes or however something like this. Another thing I learned on the workshop from a great German saxophone player is also a long tone exercise, but it's nice. For example, play a low C, then go over to the next tone, C sharp, and go back to the C. And play the, uh, play the notes uh, as long as you can. But with one breath. C, C sharp, C. Then go to the next tone, C to D to C, then the next tone, C to D sharp to C, and so on. Until you go from low C to F sharp to low C. If you have no F sharp, or if you are already um, know some altissimo notes, you uh, may also play low C to altissimo A to low C. But this is a very nice exercise. Tip two are the overtones. Long tones, overtones. Overtones are a very great exercise which helped me a lot. At the beginning, I don't spend any time on over overtones. But now, since a couple of months or a year, I think, I play overtones every day I practice. Because it helps you to manage your, your airstream and to control your read. Don't let your read control you. The overtone exercise I do, I play to the second octave. For example, low B flat, then the fifth, then the first octave, then in the second octave, and uh, back again. I'm not an altissimo Jedi, but these exercises help me to get some altissimo notes out of my saxophone. And I'm very proud. Yes, I know the pitch of the note has nothing to do with the tone, but your audience will say thank you if you play in tune. If you want to play in a band or if you want to play along with a backing track, it's necessary to play in tune. Before I started playing the saxophone, I was a guitar player. And uh, if you play the guitar and grab a tone and play the tone, if it's tuned right, the guitar, 
uh, then you get this tone you want out of the guitar. With the saxophone it's more difficult. You have to tune your saxophone with the mouthpiece on the cork. And it's not perfectly in tune. Very frustrating. So what we have to do? We have to know our sax and its imperfectness and we have to um, control the pitch with our embouchure. To see or to hear um, if, um, if some tones need a correction with your embouchure, um, I would recommend you to play the entire range of tones with your saxophone and um, in best cases from low B flat to high F sharp and uh, with a constant uh, embouchure and um, notate the notes um, which are too, um, too flat or uh, too sharp. And if you know it, you can take it in your daily practice routine. I prefer to practice with my iPad and an app, but you can use uh, every tuner on the market. These were my three tips to an intermediate player. They helped me a lot and I hope they will help you too. If anyone has a better tip or another tip, please let us know in the comments so we can learn from each other. It's a nice thing with these comments. So be gently and nice and freaky. Um, but I think everyone can learn, uh, learn from each other. So put it in the comments if you know a better tip. If you want to support me and the things that I do on this channel and I will do in the future, then you're welcome. If not, it's also fine. I wish you a nice day. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you like what you see or what you have seen. And yes, see you in the next video. I'm Petty. Goodbye.